Hello Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Alright? Nine of Wands in Reverse. Fed up. Tired. Silent treatment. Wow. So we do have the Nine of Wands in Reverse with the High Priestess here. Scorpio, your intuition is asking you to give up on a situation that you have tried to work Try to make it work over and over and over again, okay? You've gone through a lot of experiences with this particular person or situation. You've gone through a lot. You're wounded, exhausted. Um, I think in this time, you're just throwing in the towel, okay? You're just giving up and you feel this battle is just not worth it, all right? And this is what your intuition is asking you to do. You're trusting your intuition and you're just laying off a situation, okay you were persevering this for a very long time okay you probably thought you could just hold on to it okay you had that dis determination in you but you finally you know don't want to be um staying in a battle that you think is not important okay something that's not worth fool here you could be wanting to take a leap of faith you're starting a brand new journey with someone or there could be someone wanting to come towards you with a leap of faith all right how does scorpio see this see themselves in this connection how does Scorpio see themselves in this connection? Yeah, King of Cups with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Scorpio, you have a lot of love for this person, all right? You have real deep emotions for this person out here, but you're choosing not to express them. Again, this is not someone who's being emotionally unavailable. This is someone who knows what they love, who knows what they love. You love this person to the moon and back, okay? You feel very deeply for them. You're uh, trusting your intuition, okay? This is someone whose intuition is also on point. But again, you're choosing not to converse with this person. You're refusing to talk to them. You're holding back communication, all right? Knight of Swords in reverse is someone, you know, who's just determined not to talk. You're just, you know, you want to address the situation now, but you're just going to give them the silent treatment. Okay. Okay. How does this person see themselves in this connection with Scorpio? Two of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. You're dealing with someone who's probably juggling you or trying to weigh out their pros and cons. Okay. This is someone who's trying to balance out the situation, but more than anything, I feel this person is just trying to think and they're trying to make up their mind, okay, going back and forth uh, of whether they want to put in the work into this connection or not. Definitely with the Eight of Pentacles here, this person definitely wants to put in their 100%, okay? They're wanting to better themselves so they can better, uh, so they can make this situation better, okay? But they're more focused on themselves, working on themselves. But I think with the Two of Pentacles, they're still being indecisive, okay? They're just not sure. They're still juggling the idea of if they want to invest into this anymore or not. Or if they want to invest into this. Not anymore, but if they want to. So one side out here has a lot of love here, but they're holding back communication, okay? Being a real coward out here with the Knight of Swords in reverse here. Scorpio, this is you or whoever this is, right? But someone here is just being a coward, okay? Being a real pussy and not being able to communicate. While the other person out here is juggling the idea of wanting to put in the work, effort or not. The Knight of Swords... One second. Tell me why is... I want to see. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse... Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? Something's a missed up. See, Ace of Wands here. This person out here, right, wants a brand new beginning with you, okay? This could be you. But with the Knight of Swords in reverse here, there's a missed opportunity, okay? You're not addressing this because this is something that needs to be addressed now. You're running away from the situation or this person is, okay? Someone's just going with the flow rather than going against the flow and creating what they want. Whereas this person out here is in two minds, okay? Going back and forth. What's the Two of Pentacles? Hangman, yeah, this person's doing nothing. You're not doing anything, they're not doing anything. The only thing this person's doing is just a lot of pondering, a lot of thinking, 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 trying to download a lot of information, but when it comes to action, nada. So I think you're both giving each other the silent treatment, but one of you has definitely given up on this connection, okay? Or is going to. All right, All right tell me, um, how, how, do, how does Scorpio view this person? How does Scorpio view, view them? How does Scorpio view this person? <clears throat> Scorpio.
Scorpio, you view this as per person as someone with the two of wands and eight of swords in reverse here. You view this person as someone who's at a crossroads, okay? Someone who needs to make a decision but is not, okay? You could also view them as someone who's trying to, you know, um, keeping them on hold, okay? But this person could be someone who was stuck on you, okay? But they're finally moving on, okay? They're they're getting out of that jailhouse of their mind. There's no more over-analyzing of this person. This person is getting themselves unstuck, of a situation okay they're freeing themselves okay from the self-imprisonment but with the two of wands you have this person's at a crossroads you view this person as someone who's at a crossroads needing to make a decision okay they're half and half out okay but you do see them as someone who's just let go of the situation that they were stuck to for a very long time all right how does this person view scorpio person views you as the page of pentacles and the nine of swords here so they do view you as someone who wants to talk to them okay they see you as someone who's obsessing about communication and someone who wants to offer them something substantial but at the same time you're this is someone who's just like you know like going through in their head there's a lot of worry stress anxiety someone who's having sleepless nights out here okay Again, this is someone who's stressing over something over and over again, over analyzing, overthinking, a lot of remorse, regret about what could have, should have, would have, stuff like that, okay? But this person does view you as someone who wants to communicate with them, wants to offer them something um, uh, secure, a small offer, okay? Probably even uh, raising the white flag or wanting to have a peaceful resolution, but they see you, but this person sees you as someone very, very stressed, okay? So that's how these two people view each other. All right, what action will Scorpio take towards this person? What action will Scorpio take towards this person? Doesn't look like any action. Three of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands in reverse here. You definitely want to work on a partnership with this person, okay? See, there's so much contradicting energies out here, okay? everything's you're in two minds they're in two minds it's just weird three of pentacles with the queen of wands in reverse here you want to work with this person okay you want to work on this connection you want to make you know it redo this connection probably even okay but um building cooperating compromising etc okay but the problem here is unfortunately you're just not putting in the effort you're being extremely passive this time okay you've had a very laid-back approach this time towards this person because you were always the one who's been there out there okay taking action but this time you're not taking the initiative you're not taking action this is also someone who's playing head games okay that's what you're probably doing okay you are Maybe you don't feel very too confident and secure in this connection, okay? This person is making you feel very insecure in this connection. And uh, that's one of the reasons why you're not wanting to move forward with this, okay? Again, I feel if this person wants to come in and work, there are chances you will, okay? But it's just that right now, at least when it comes to you, you're not going to make the first move, okay? What action will this person take towards Scorpio? Four of Pentacles in reverse with the Nine of Cups in reverse here. This person is very, very unhappy. You know, very unhappy with the Nine of Pentacles here in reverse and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. I feel because this person is so unhappy, right? They're emotionally very, very drained, okay? You were like a wish fulfillment for them, okay? And, and like a wish that didn't come true, okay? That's what they wanted. They saw you as their entire um, uh, happiness, okay? But I think there is this um, feeling of deep unhappiness within themselves, okay? They wished for you as a partner, but something just didn't turn out to be the way they thought it would, okay? Something went wrong. And with the Four of Pentacles, yeah, I think this person is choosing to release something, okay? This is releasing something that they were holding on to very tight. I want to see what this is. What's the Four of Pentacles in reverse? The justice with the devil here. This person is... If I can talk. This person is releasing any self-sabotaging energy that they had, okay? Any toxic energy, they're letting it go. And with the justice here, this person is trying to come in and bring balance to the situation, okay? So whatever negative patterns this person was doing, okay? The 
Devil can be anything, cheating, lying, okay? This person could be having you in a third party situation, something that they were codependent on, obsessions, addictions. They're planning to let it go, okay? It's been a difficult time for them, but they're growing. They're trying to get out of their shell. They're trying to get push that comfort zone and get out to get, become a better person here with the eight of pentacles here. But with the devil here, that's what they're doing, okay? They're ready to release anything that was coming between you and them okay it could be a third party situation could be anything that they were stuck onto okay person place thing situation anything but with the justice here this person is definitely coming to restore balance okay and they're coming in to make things fair with you all right why is all this happening why is all this happening Six of Wands with the Ten of Wands here. This person, they know that staying with you is too much work. Okay, it is a situation that is very, very overwhelming for them. It's too much work. Okay, they have to put in a lot of work when it comes to you. Because I think somewhere, somehow with the Three of Pentacles here, right? I feel that this person does think that you are too much work. Okay, they feel probably you're even out of, out of their league because they can't match up to your energies okay some they feel very overburdened okay with the situation uh working towards you is a lot of stress burden but with the six of wands here this is why it's happening because this person wants to label this connection finally okay they want to come towards you they want success they want your attention i wouldn't jump the gun and say this person is an attention seeking whore but i do feel that this this is someone who definitely wants to reach the finishing line with you okay they want victory with you they want to achieve success with you okay they want to make things official with you that's where they're coming towards you but at the same time they're working on themselves all right all right what is the future of this connection i mean they know it's a lot of work but they're still going to do it uh, <clears throat> what is the future of this connection what is the future of this connection Wow, Ace of Swords with the King of Pentacles. You have some um, groundbreaking clarity coming in, okay? You have a breakthrough coming in. Wow, Scorpio, Ace of Swords, that's clarity, that's success, that's victory, that's the truth, okay? Whether you like it or not, but whatever the truth is with the King of Pentacles, yeah, this person is dead serious about you, okay? They're dead serious about you. And they're coming in with that clarity, for sure okay so yeah with the king of pentacles here this person is definitely someone who's got their shit together and they do want to offer you something stable something committed okay they're ready for a commitment they're ready to take things seriously and take things to the next level yeah they're very very grounded they've become very matured okay this is someone very established but i, I mean they definitely are looking at longevity with you okay and with the ace of swords here they're going to make it very 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 clear to you all right that is a beautiful reading, Scorpio. I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.